welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Sele Kalu and I am a Nigerian based beauty influencer skincare DIY specialist I create weekly videos for you guys to learn how you can make your own skincare products and so much more so if that's something that you're interested in definitely um, click on the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and make sure you click on the notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video all right that said if you're a returning subscriber hi welcome back thank you so much for stopping by I really do appreciate you guys so today's video is something that has been requested you guys have requested for this video for the longest time and that is how I make my scrub base I'm sorry I look crazy because I'm working like I, I'm, I'm working I just wanted to do this quick intro so um, this video has been highly highly requested by you guys over time and I feel like it's just long overdue and you know I should just come on here and do this video for you guys so you guys have been wanting to learn how I make my scrub base which is also what you can use for your mulatto soap you can use this, this base for your whip soap scrub whip soap base you can use it for your whip soap scrub you can use it for so many other things your shaving cream you can use it for you can use it for so many things and you can also use it to make use this um, formula or to make a facial cleansing bar probably i will make a video on that but for today we are making my foaming or whip soap base or whip soap whip scrub base whatever you want to call it and i am going to be taking you step by step different phases um i always like to formulate properly so i have done this in phases which I'm going to put on the screen right now for you guys to see I have a phase a and I have a phase B and then I also have a phase C which is going to which is a proper way to formulate um, I didn't want to do it the regular way that I see people do where they pour everything in one bowl and just I wanted to formulate it properly for you and now to create a formula to create a recipe you first of all need to have a formula for that recipe so if you want to learn how you can create your own formulas you definitely want to get our ebook the ebook will help you understand the basics of skincare formulation it will help you understand how you can create your batch size you can it help you turn your learn how to turn your formulas into recipes because a proper formulation or a proper product production has to start from your formulas and um, your with your formulas you can create any batch size of product that you want you can create 10 ml you can create 50 kg whatever batch size so that is the reason why we give you formulas that are then converted to recipe your recipe is now what you um, used to create the products in the size that you want to create it if that makes sense so yeah and also if you want to learn other ways that you can make this product you should definitely gear up for our upcoming soaping class i have never really done any soap training and i thought you know our january class should be dedicated to the to making soaps so i'm going to show you different ways that you can make this particular soap base and other soap ba soaps that you can make for your skincare business and if you want more information on that send us a whatsapp message using the link in the description bar also if you would like to support this channel and just basically help us create quality contents for you because you all know how expensive it can be to create these videos it's not just i don't want to just create any kind of videos for you guys. I want to create quality content for you guys that will help you and help your business as well. I want to do things properly. So if you would like to support this channel, please join, become a member of this channel using the join button down below. With that, you will get the benefits of having one exclusive video every month 
you are only going to have that video to yourself every month you also get shout outs if you want us to shout you out we also have other amazing perks that come with that membership now your donations will help us create more content more regularly and give you value for your time your data and of course the pennies that you donate to us so definitely help us hit our goal to bring you quality content all the time and you can also help us with super chats so you can you know send us super chats and that will help us you know grow this channel and give you quality content okay now without any further ado without any other thing to say let's jump right into the video first we need a scale at this we will use to measure our ingredients and then we need a heat resistant beaker you can use other containers that you can use to heat your products but i prefer to use heat resistant beakers for our phase a we have glycerin now glycerin is a humectant and in soap making glycerin helps to ensure that your skin will retain its own moisture in order to protect it from damage that are caused by dryness and instead of creating a barrier humectants such as glycerin allows your skin to still breathe we also have propylene glycol and propylene glycol is also a humectant and a penetration enhancer it is also a solvent which is one of the reasons why we have it in this recipe now um, propylene glycol is used here as a solvent to dissolve our main surfactant and it is also used here as a humectant we also have cocoa betaine cocoa betaine is a surfactant that is derived from coconut oil and cocoa betaine tends to produce a very rich um, dense foam that also conditions the skin and the lather action helps losing the dirt and impurities on your skin when you wash we also have sodium lactate this ingredient is used here as some type of preservative and it also acts as an inhibitor of bacterial growth um, sodium lactate also helps to produce a harder soap which is one of the reasons why i'm using it here to create that firmness it helps the product last longer we're also adding the sodium edta now the reason why we have edta in this formula is for it to increase the shelf life of the soap it helps to reduce stickiness of the soap and basically um, help the soap combine with hard water our main surfactant for this formula is sodium cocoyl isotonate and this product is a very highly active finely divided free-flowing powder used in syndate bars combo bars liquid soap facial cleansers body washes and so many other things and that is why we're using it here it has a high foaming power it is extremely mild which is also which also makes this product safe for kids to use and it is a soft and it gives a soft and silky feel on the skin now we are also going to use water make sure you are using distilled water or even if you're going to use tap water make sure you have boiled it properly you don't necessarily need distilled water for this formula because the SCI is equally effective in both hard and soft water. I prefer to use distilled water just to be on the safer side with this formula. Now we're going to go ahead and mix that thoroughly. Make sure that everything is mixed together. This will help the dissolving process um, quicker and seamless. Now remember, SCI takes a long time to dissolve, so I'm just going to put it on the double boiler on low heat and be patient until everything dissolves completely. Before I add my other phase. Now for our phase B, we need a heat resistant beaker again, which is my preference. You can use any other containers that you have. We need our scale to measure our ingredients. 
so that everything is accurate now our first ingredient is mango butter mango butter is a go-to choice for a lot of soap makers because of its consistency it is not too hard it is not too soft which makes it a very nice product to work with to moisturize the skin now we also have shea butter shea butter is used here as a moisturizer and just to help you combat dryness if you have any shea butter also leaves the skin smooth and helps to treat any form of skin irritations that you may have the next ingredient we are using is coconut wax and coconut wax is packed with so much vitamins and minerals and antioxidants that moisturizes the skin hair and the nails and it gives you a youthful look we're also going to be using btms which is going to give us a very creamy luxurious feel and next ingredient is our steric acid steric acid is used here as not only a moisturizer but also a thickener for this recipe now our recipe our phase b is ready we are going to go ahead to put it on the double boiler but remember our phase a will take a longer time to dissolve so we're putting that later so here we have our phase a and our phase b that have dissolved you can see how beautifully the s the phase a with the sci dissolved beautifully this is why i like to make my recipes this way or i like to make this formula this way like this you will get a beautiful result as opposed to adding everything in one jar and putting it on the double boiler so here you can see our phase a has dissolved beautifully and we also have our phase b now we're going to add our phase b into our phase a just the way you would do on a typical um, emulsifying um, product we're going to add our phase a our phase b into our phase a and just keep stirring it until everything is added now i'm going to take my stick blender to blend this product thoroughly so that everything is emulsified and we have that creamy beautiful looking product just as you will see in a few in a few minutes as you can see our product has emulsified and it has given a beautiful texture very creamy very luxurious feel and very very moisturizing on the skin as well now this is what our product looks like right now you can go ahead to keep this product to cool down before you add your cool down phase but i was too busy to let it cool down so i popped it into the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes and then i brought it back out to continue the next phase but for now this is what the product looks like now here is our soap base after putting it in the freezer for about 20 minutes it looks beautiful although the texture has changed it is now very thicker it is now thicker than the previous clip now we can go ahead to add our phase c which is our cool down phase which is your preservative now I'm adding Jama Plus, which is a more um, easier preservative to use or to find um, when you're looking for um, preservatives to buy. Now go ahead and give that a stir. Make sure you stir properly so that everything mixes together and has the same consistency. So after going ahead to mix it with my hand um, spatula, I will then go ahead to use my my hand mixer to mix everything together. I'm sorry if I'm slaughtering and I'm, you know, mincing my words. I am very sleepy, but I need to make get this done so I can upload it for you guys. So please excuse my low tone and my mixing of words look at that beauty this is so creamy so beautiful like just looking at this you would think it is a cream 
it is so beautiful now that everything has been emulsified everything has mixed thoroughly i'm just going to clean my hand blender or hand mixer very well now remember that if you would want to use this for your whipped soap you can go ahead to use it you can use it for your scrubs you can use it as a shaving cream you can use it for your mulatto soap without getting any um darkening or change of color like this recipe is so beautiful and it's so versatile you can use it so many ways and this should last you up to one year on the shelf so this is what um this is our product i have taken out a little bit of it just to show you how beautifully this product whips like it it's so beautiful it blows me away it's so creamy the texture and if you want to get a great texture you have to follow this recipe to the teeth you're not substituting anything you're putting you're using every ingredient that was mentioned here now what is giving this product the lovely texture and smoothness that it has and creaminess is the coconut wax and the btms and also the btms and also the um steric acid and that is just so beautiful see how creamy this is this is so beautiful now if you haven't subscribed to my channel up till now please take this time to subscribe down below hit the notification bell and also give this video a thumbs up and leave all your questions in the comment section i continue to whip it until i got about twice or three times the size of the product i put in the beaker as you can see the product is almost at the top of the, the beaker and that is that is what you want to get you want to whip it until you get that fluffy whipped cream texture right here you see that it has almost filled up the container and that is what you're looking for i whipped this for about four minutes or thereabouts in at intervals and i got a very beautiful texture now you can go ahead to use this for your scrub like i said earlier i'm going to post the video where i use this for a simple salt scrub that i did now if you want to learn more about soap making like i said earlier in the video we will be having our first official soap making class and that will hold in january so if you want more information on that click the link in the description bar to um, get us on whatsapp and we'll give you all the information you want so i went ahead and i stored this product in this container right now you can see that it is still moving and it is still creamy and soft but by the next day this is what we had the product is thicker and more sturdy and the more you keep it the more it gets um, hard now you can use this as your melt and pour soap you can use this as your whipped soap base you can use it for anything thank you guys for watching bye